Hello and welcome to my channel. So I just received the Karoma scooter. This is for adult. I'm going to unbox it, assemble it if it needs to be assembled and we'll go for a ride to see how fast it actually can go. And we'll go over some spec on the scooter as well and to see what's the future. And you will know if it's good for you or not. So let's open up and see how the scooter looks and rides. So you'll find his uh, user manual, charger, some protection, and of course the scooter. And it's not that heavy, so let's see what needs to be done in order to ride it. To come with a stand, which is good. So you bring the handlebar up and use this latch to close this. Actually really easy. Nice, looking good. Nice board actually with a rubber surface so it will be not slippery. Even after the rain it's made the way it will be really good actually. It comes with the tools. So we would remove all this zip tie. Okay, it looks like you just need to push this a little bit button over here, insert this handlebar in. And we'll just lock it in. And it does have adjustment. Wow, nice. So you can adjust to get it higher. And it looks like everything assembled. I'm not sure why they include the tools. You don't really need to do anything. And this is Karoma scooter. It's a weight pretty nice. I'm not sure exactly how much pounds. You might want to check the description. But it is pretty light and foldable. You can um, unfold it by removing the handlebar bring it all the way up and lock it in and that's how it will look so you can adjust the handlebar height all the way up like this or all the way down like that and which way way you prefer to ride uh, pretty nice uh, board large one with a stand a lot of night uh, protection so it's a re reflector it's not a light, it's just reflectors over here. But on the side, you will see night light as well. It does come with a headlight right over here. Really easy to turn it on by pressing this button. And we'll turn on. And the same way you turn it off. And now I want to go with you over some spec on the Karoma scooter. This is the model E22 Pro and I'll go with information which is included over here so it's 8.5 inches uh, wheel scooter so the wheels is only 8.5 inches and it's hard rubber I guess it has nice uh, deck pretty large the weight of this uh, scooter is 34 pounds about 34 pounds based on my weighting and I already fully charged the scooter the charging port is right over here so you can charge it right here and it's rubber so it's cover up and it's very easy to use it's foldable as i showed you before and i know most people wonder how fast it can go they claim it can go up to 50 miles per hour and it has 350 watt motor and the peak motor power it's eight it's 630 watt and it can last up to 14.3 miles again vary on the rider weight and condition you're gonna ride and how you're gonna ride it then it can uh, weight capacity is 265 pounds which is a lot actually uh, for the small scooter as well and it has um, a battery which is um, 284 watt hours because it's 36.5 volt by 7.8 amp I'm gonna get to the shade so I can show you how to use this scooter. So to turn it on, you just hold the power button right over here for a few seconds. 
you hear the sounds and then you'll see display the display it's not the brightest maybe you can adjust it but I didn't find any way to adjust it but it's not the brightest one uh, mostly on the Sun but it's fully charged the battery show me is full charge to sw switch the speed it comes with three different speed mode so right now when I press the minus sign it will go to the low so you will see s and it's the same color as display when you press plus sign it will change to yellow it's kind of hard to see almost on the camera and when you press one more time it will change to red so red is the top speed which can go up to 50 miles and we're gonna check uh, by gps as well then the next step uh, to turn the light on you just press the light on the light will be on and the light is actually not bad and it's kind of um, should be bright at night you're moving uh, handlebar it will move together with your handlebar which is great then it comes with um, additional light ambient light so you have to press the light button and hold it for three seconds until you hear beep and then ambient light will turn on and you will see it will start to change color on the board as well so it's very good at night and it's looking really cool i'll show you as well at night riding later uh, this button is a um, cruise control so when you're riding you just press on it and it will start to do cruise control basically it will keep pick up the speed you're going i guess and just going on that speed and to accelerate you just use the throttle right over here um, again based on the settings you can go up to the 50 miles an hour this piece is just for locking when you're folding the bike so it will uh, attach to the uh, right over here and it also comes with a bell manual which is cool and one brake and the brake is pretty basic when you're pulling it's a pulling brake with a cable right over here but they say it also includes the brake in the motor so it will cut off the motor and braking as well also this uh, scooter comes with very nice grips which is, feels like rubber not slippery at all and the good about them that if you even drop the scooter on the side it's also rubber nothing will happen to it uh, compared to the one i reviewed from bugatti it would break the signals so it's a pretty solid nice a little scooter which uh, by Caroma and 350 watt power which is good enough so we're gonna go for a speed test and see how it's right all right so let's see how fast I can go and I'll go with GPS recording and see the top speed and We'll switch to the lowest one right now. I'm going on the six miles an hour. Now it's kicking eight, nine, and it looks like GPS show me like ten, which is good so far. And I'll get to the point where I can speed up a little bit. So actually, it's not bad riding on flat surface. And then I'll go with a top speed which is sport mode i guess and go nine ten eleven based on the display gps looks like 13 14 15 so 15 16 almost wow actually looks like gps show me 60 miles an hour and gps always show like either accurate or less so 60 miles an hour it's not bad so this one is going and i weighed 215 pounds so it's actually not bad at all uh, for this inexpensive uh, scooter and i think it's a safe speed because the front braking when you push on it it's kind of brake really good very quickly and i'm gonna go back so i'm just checking like to see how it's fast so 16 miles an hour it's uh, actually not bad uh last one i compare was uh, not compare actually review was a bugatti scooter from casca which um, actually very similar spec on it 
That one also come with 350 watt motor and only only like uh, 600 watt peak as they advertised it was like 600 watt motor but actually 300 and I think the battery about the same this one is 284 watt hours which is pretty large battery for scooter and uh, I think this one is great for someone who wants to commute to school work or just fun at the beach riding so the wheels are not that large and it's uh, doesn't have any suspension so I'm not, I'm not going to test it out on the grass or anywhere else but as a riding it's uh, actually pretty fun it's a nice nice uh, scooter the handlebar kind of low I wish it was a little bit higher for my height and I'm 511 uh, but it's carry 215 pounds easily to 60 miles an hour but again you're gonna lose a range but I think it's great for someone who wants commute about two four five miles uh, one way so up to 10 miles per day it would be perfect scooter and let me show you how it's uh, at night so you can turn on this uh, deck light which is like alien light as you can see uh, when you press the brake light it will blink also the red light on the back rear wheel will be blink and if it's in standby mode like this it will dim and kind of blink also when you press a brake regardless if you're riding or standby mode it will blink like this which will give you great visibility and uh, the same way will blink the red light on the tail on the fender so it's really nice an expensive scooter with very bright at night um, display with uh, battery information the speed you're going and thank you guys for watching i hope you like this video and i'll see you in the next video bye